Anybody have any candid thoughts on Key West? Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything breaks. I can just hear screaming. Bad weather. And I drag everywhere. Oh my god. <gasps> I have to say, I did enjoy civilization very much until now. Now I'm ready to leave, but the food is amazing. People here are awesome. So it's basically the anchorage is ruining it for everything. Yes. Yeah. It's one of those nights where I sort of wish we weren't out here. I really love the town. The town is great, but it's a lot of people. I am definitely missing the dry tortugas. Mm -hmm. How about you, baby Nox? Do you like it? Oh, <laughs> After over a year of cruising the east coast of the U.S., this was our final push to prepare for our journey south to Mexico and beyond. We just picked up our new crew Taylor and did some last preparations like provisioning and topping Delos up with fuel. We're ready to make this short trip back to the Dry Tortugas, where we wait for a good weather window to begin our 300-mile passage to the Mexican island of Isla Mujeres. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Good morning. It is bright and early. It's not bright. It's just early actually. It's uh, dark and early. And uh, we're going to leave today. We're going to head back to Dry Tortugas and uh, station there for a bit. Wait for weather to do the cross in Mexico. Super exciting. Um, it's been a good time here in Key West, but it's Anchorage. It's, it's hectic. Except for right now. So when we're planning on leaving, it is beautiful and so calm and so peaceful and I have no idea why it always works out like that that the day that we're gonna set sail it's actually really calm and gorgeous we're gonna set out we should be able to make it to Tortugas by uh, sunset we got about 60 some odd miles to go I think it's gonna be an awesome sail good morning I'm ready nice. to rumble you ready to go yeah totally I'm excited all right let's do this <laughs> but the bill. So you're gonna be driving while I get the hook up. Cause Kaz is sleeping because she's gonna watch the nugs when the yeah. nugs wakes up. You're used to driving your boat, so yeah. it's not a problem, right? Uh, Water indicator right here. Yep. Uh, chart plotter uh, depth over here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, throttle, you know, forward, neutral, reverse. That's it. So I'm just gonna go get the hook up, and there's not much current, so it shouldn't be very difficult. Sun's coming up. Yeah. How does she drive? Really well. Great first experience driving Delos. Kind of like driving a bus though, huh? Yeah. Like really slow turning. It was our first sail with Taylor, so it was time to show her the ropes. Literally. We'd already done a big safety briefing and toured the boat when she arrived a few days earlier. Delos has all the standard gear on board, like EPIRB, fire extinguishers, and a life raft. But she also has a few other features that are a bit less common. This is a watertight bulkhead. We have a bunch of these on the boat, like six in fact. So if, for example, we get a big hole in the front of the boat mm -hmm. uh, and we want to stop the boat from sinking, we can close this door. It has a seal around here. It latches real tight. And there is a, uh, like a little paddle wheel that actually sucks the door against the seal, huh. uh, like a submarine door, which is right here. So come on, come on outside, we'll show you this. So this is not something that every boat has, but yep, we put this on here and then we just tighten this, right? The thread's in there and then that gives us time to sort out the problem, to find it out. Uh, the other interesting thing about Delos that a lot of boats 
don't have is we actually have plumbing. So we only have one through hole in the entire boat. Oh. So there's no through holes under the sinks or anything like that. There's only one in the engine room so that lets water in. In here, this is our build. Oh, this is the some of the alcohol supplies <laughs> anyway. <laughs> there's actually a little knob up here. Uh, see this little lever? Mm -hmm. That orange one. So if you do close that door, we flip that lever sideways, which shuts off the plumbing, which means if the head and the, the, sh the, the shower and the sink fill with water, we don't fill the rest of the boat as well. So it just kind of isolates it. It's a dry bilge, so there's no water in the bilge unless there's a problem. Right. Um, so we got beer here, we got tequila, rum, whiskey, uh, all that sort of good stuff. All the good stuff. You'll also find more beer in here and more beer in there. <laughs> the necessities, <laughs> yes. the things I need to know. That's uh, really interesting though. Obviously there was a lot of thought put into yep. how this boat was built mm -hmm. and makes it especially even more like safety conscious for being a blue water cruiser. It does. And then up here there's something else too I forgot to show. In front of this, there's actually another like almost six feet of boat. Right, so we have the bow lockers, we have the chain lockers, and then inside here is another watertight bulkhead. So if we happen to crash the front of the boat and that all gets smashed in, like that whole area is completely separated from this area, which is then separated from all the stuff behind it. That is genius. Does that make sense? That is so smart. We'd made our way out of the bay and left Key West, so it was time to show Taylor how we set the sails. She has quite a few miles under her belt at sea, but every boat is different, and there's always something new to learn each time you step foot on a different vessel. Delos is designed for easy shorthanded sailing, and has some pretty cool features that allow you to make most sail changes without needing to leave the cockpit. Have you ever used one of these line tenders before? No. Okay, so this thing is kind of crazy because if there's force on the sail, this can like feet back and like smash you in the face. So oh. never, never move this unless you have a hand like pretty firmly on here. Uh, and if you flip this, I'm like gonna break my rule because I'm one handed right now. But like that is gonna take it to port and that is gonna take it to starboard. So let's go ahead and travel it over to port. The wind's behind us. This is in French. <laughs> Falk is the jib. Uh, this is the grand sail, the main sail. Uh, so this is the out haul. So basically what I do is I just put a little bit out, see how it's spinning the sail, and then yeah. I do the, the out haul. And you can, until you get the hang of it, just do them independent. Back and forth, yeah. There you go. That's so easy. Isn't it pretty easy? Yeah, I like that. So you, know, you don't have to go up on deck. No cranking and, it. And because it's so easy, we tend to like reef a lot and unreef a lot, mm -hmm. like shake the reefs out. Well, and it's so easy with the in-mass furling too to yeah. reef. Is it finica time? Yeah, I think it's a good choice. The breeze is gonna, it's kind of off of our starboard quarter right now and it's gonna be behind us for most of the day, so. Fly it while you got it. Yeah, I get it. I guess here it goes nothing, huh? <laughs> How's your spinnaker trimming skills? Ooh, we're gonna see, put it to the test here. So the, the wind has moved a little bit more behind us, so it's a deeper angle. Okay. So we just need to like ease the sail, and I usually do it until the, the front just starts to, to luff just a, a little, little bit. A little bit, okay. Yeah. And a little bit more. See that the front start to curl like yeah. that? So now we can trim in a little bit from that. All right, this is absolutely beautiful conditions. Amazing looking sail. And what are we doing? Six and a half? Um, yeah, six and a half. Nice. Cruising along very nicely. This feels so good to be on the move again and sailing in such perfect conditions. Good 
Good morning, baby nugs. Good morning. Did you get a good night's sleep? Uh, you have your beads on already? <laughs> she's got her sailor legs on. Feeling? How about this, huh? I know, right? I mean, the sailing does not get better than this. No, this is like... This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is ideal. This is the best you get. We, really. we need a sail like this every once in a while. I know, to like re... Juvenile, the sailing exactly. spirit. For the ocean, I will be long gone by now. It's some kind of devotion that brings me down. That without my love for the ocean. <laughs> oh, she's blind herself. Ah, Such an insane no child. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> come on. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Just like, come up here with. Okay. Yeah, come up here. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Playing the dinghy, huh? She loves it. Look at she even started puts, it up. She even puts the cord on if she sees me do it sometimes. Can you start it, nuts? Start it up. It's a great baby playpen at sea. Yeah. Pretty safe up here. Hey, take the cord off. <gasps> I was just sitting here and that freaking bird landed on my head and scared the shit out of me. Just as I was coming back, I heard that. Oh my God, I was like, what the heck is going on? I, I thought I something know, like, that, like water fell on me and I put my hand up there and it was a bird wing. Oh, oh I, gosh, I hope he's okay. Guy. He's probably tired. Yeah. He's... Did you make a friend? We should name him. You didn't put him up there? He jumped up there on his own? Yeah, he was sitting on the ground and then I tried to give him water and I think I might have scared him a little bit. He jumped up on the line. Anyway. You're chirping now. He's gonna have to get off that line soon. <laughs> oh shit. That's right, we're gonna have to jive pretty soon. I'm sorry, little dude. Give me the bird whisperer. Mm. How is it up here? This is the spot to be up here. <laughs> you look pretty relaxed. Best spot in the whole place. It's such an amazing sense of the movement, the speed, huh? Totally. You get a, such a cool view of the boat, too. It's like you're outside of the boat. Yeah. You can see it all. Watch the bow wake. We made landfall, too. Or not landfall, but we can see it. Land ho. Land ho. There it is. That was a fantastic oh, sail. That was really good. A great first experience sailing on Delos. Yeah. Like that, that one, guys. Oh, man. That was a good one. That rejuvenated us, <laughs> I think. I know. If you can have that all the way to Mexico, I'll be very happy. That's what we're planning on. Gonna plan on this? All right, we're here. We made it. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you'd like to keep them coming, head on over to svdelos.com forward slash beer. Send us a little bit of love. Cheers, guys. Cheers to you. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, geez, I lost so <laughs> <laughs> <That last> one. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. It felt amazing to be officially making our way south for the season with the sun shining and the local flock of birds absolutely going nuts as usual. We decided to put the new crew to work, concocting some libations to get us warmed up for slacklining on the beach. It's concoction time. We're lacking a little on mixers. I'm trying to figure out what to mix with black cherry rum. So we've come up with 
kind of random. Pellegrino, ginger ale. And a clementine? I, I think it sounds great. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> what do you All think, right. baby dogs? He's <gasps> like, huh? Younger? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Bam Bam. Bam Bam! Bam Bam! She needs a stick. And we have ice, too. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the essential ingredient there. Mm. Step one is ice. Step two, squished up berries. Yeah, you've gotten some other provisions out. We you've that. added some extra those. ingredients. We're getting creative. What else do we get? We got some homemade bitters that we found. And, oh yeah, grenadine. Mmm. Mmm. Did you say you're a heavy porter? You have to. It's the only way to do it. Did you used to be a bartender? Yeah, I did. I was pretty good at it in my former life. I call that my BS life. I carried the skills on with me. Looks like poison. <laughs> Fizzy bubbly? Fizzy bubbly. Do you want to do the taste test? No, you get, Okay, I'll do the first test. Ooh, it's got quite a nice bouquet. <laughs> what does oh. it need? More rum. More rum. More rum. Heavier pour. What does it need, Karen? Ooh. Kaza would drink it like that, probably. Yeah, probably. We That's should good. we should leave that aside with less rum for Kaza. <laughs> All right. All right. We well done. I approve. You approve. I approve with the, the one condition of additional rum. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Next up on Delos, we experience the highs and lows of cruising. We enjoy some amazing conditions in the dry Tortugas and meet plenty of new underwater friends. But when a neighbor's boat drags onto the shore, we get a reminder that the cruising life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It was our first sail with Taylor. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit hungover today, so bleh. okay. You having a good day at the beach? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're all right. What is your Harris doing? What's your Harris, Sierra? Cheers! 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 Cheers. Cheers. The underway, ready to go. <laughs> Sometimes you realize how ridiculous it is that we just film our energy, I know. like <laughs> whatever it is we're doing. <laughs> Now, is that GoPro gonna be an issue there? Oh yeah, we better take the time lapse down before we put the seal up. Good call. <laughs> it's a heart, this is be yourself, and that's, uh, that doesn't say anything. Like the wall of shame, don't look at it. Ignore that. Woohoo! 